Hey guys, it's Scope and Shut, and today I'm bringing you guys a 51 and 6 domination game on Village. That's what this map is called. And I'm using that B7, and I think I switched to the FAD later in the game, so we got some submachine gun footage and some saw rifle footage. <laughs> I have a couple of topics today, and I'll get to them in a second. The first thing I want to talk about is me and my friends, and my friends and I, we are doing a top five scary sound video. It's like a, it's like a little machinima video. Uh, we've done it for the past two Call of Duties. We did one for Modern Warfare 2 that got 50,000 views, and another one on Black Ops. I don't know how many views that one got, but the point is that they're they're pretty cool and I they they are pretty awesome. So you should go check out them on uh, my friend's channel. I'll when when I upload it or when it's uploaded his channel, I'll uh, I'll upload a video and I'll tell you guys to go watch it. There'll be a link in the description and whatever, and yeah, it's pretty awesome. If you want to go check out his channel, his name is Charger705, Charger705, a.k.a. Char Charger705. So, and it's going to be a lot of fun, and if any of you guys are online while I'm doing this, uh, you guys can join my session or just ask me to be in it. And Alien Gamer 123 is also in it, and so is Pitiful Karma Z. So, that's that. Those are some of my friends that are in it, and go check out their channels, and yeah, the video should be awesome. I'm not going to spoil any of the sounds that are in it, but just be on the lookout because they are pretty scary and they might have you on the edge of your seat when you're watching the video. All right, guys? So, I got my straight from right here. I don't know what exactly I'm trying to do in this video. Oh, that's my last kill streak, and now I'm back down to UAV. So, all right, so uh, the one thing I want to talk about, well, one thing I want to talk about is uh, I just kind of pull this out of nowhere because I really don't know what to talk about because. With video games, I really don't know what there's much to talk about because, I mean, everyone knows the the usual things that you, like, do in a game. Like, I don't know, there's nothing to really explain. Like, okay, using Assassin, you can do this and that. Like, you guys already know that, and you guys already know how to use stuff because, you know, Call of Duty's been out in multiplayer for, like, four or five years now. So, you know, there's not really a point to really talk about much of the game. So, let's talk about something in real life, and I don't know why I really want to talk about this, but... Uh, I'm I'm not I'm I'm asking you guys this too, but I'm also asking myself, what do you want to do during college? And uh, I really don't know what I want to do, and I don't know. It's never too early to think about what you want to do in college, and uh, just leave a comment. On what you guys want to do after? What or what do you guys want to do after high school? Do you guys want to go uh, work? You guys want to go to college? Uh, JoJo does not want to go to college, but you know, there's a lot of different things that you can do, and. You know, I'm still, I'm a sophomore this year, and halfway through my sophomore year, and I have no idea what the hell I want to do. I mean, like, I'm good at, like, you know, writing and stuff and music, but I didn't really translate to anything that I'd really, like, think that would be awesome that, you know, I'd want to do. I mean, I, I kind of do want to teach also. I mean, teaching would be kind of cool. Uh, maybe, I mean, it does seem like it's kind of fun to be a teacher because you get to, like, rape your students and, like, touch them inappropriately, right? Um, and that does seem pretty kind of cool, so, I don't know, having a nice little classroom setting and you get to, like, fail students if you want and just ruin their life or, you know, do absolutely nothing and just give them hundreds. I don't know, teaching does seem kind of fun, even though, like, I asked my mom what I should do and she said teaching, uh, I don't know, because she said that, like, they do get a lot of, like, benefits, but they don't get paid a whole bunch and, you know, like, their union kind of sucks or whatever, so, I don't know. But, I don't know, I'd also like to do something with maybe, like, video editing, uh, which is actually what I'm doing with uh, the Top 5 Scariest Sounds. I'm going to be the editor for that one. So we'll see how I do. And, I don't know, I am, I've am i gotten, like, really interested in editing and, like, f picture editing and, like, Photoshop and whatnot. And, I don't know, I just, I have so many interests that I just, I don't know, it's just weird. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe be a DJ, like, like JoJo the Ho-Ho. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, let's talk about some sports now because I don't know, there's always something to talk about in sports. And the first thing let's talk about is my my favorite team, the Bengals. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with NFL, but yeah, the Bengals are. Uh, hopefully they'll be make, they'll be making the playoffs, and uh, all we gotta do is win and we're in. But if we win, if we lose, then there's a good possibility that we can not make it in the playoffs. Maybe I don't know. So I don't know. I'm kind of nervous for this weekend because we're playing the Ravens and we haven't really done well versus the Ravens or the Steelers this year. We got owned by them t three times and I don't know. 
But I think this weekend the Bengals will win because I think just they know how much is on their shoulders because they they want to make the players look bad and it's pretty obvious that they do because they've been playing their hearts out the past couple of weeks that I've watched them and I don't know I'm really excited because. I'm like one of those few people that have stuck with the Bengals, and they don't really have many friends down in Cincinnati, um, because this weekend they're actually they're trying to get the the stadium sold out, because they haven't sold out. They've only sold out one game this year, and that was when the Steelers when they brought like their fans down from Pittsburgh, and um, I don't know. Hopefully, that they can sell the stadium and make it really freaking loud and an awesome atmosphere. I kind of do want to go because. They might be, well, they're doing, like, an offer for their season ticket holders where they get, like, a free extra ticket, and they might, like, discount tickets, and maybe I'll ask my mom if I can go this weekend. That'd be pretty freaking sweet, but, no, it's New Year's, never mind. I, I gotta go somewhere to my friend's house that weekend. But, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully the Bengals do win this this season, or <laughs> this weekend, and we get into the playoffs, and we go to the Super Bowl, yeah? No, that's not gonna happen, but it'll be nice to see them in the playoffs, and I think the Bengals will be a team that will be very good in the next two or three years because uh, this season they have, I think they have three first-round draft, they have like two or three first-round draft picks, and that's pretty good. And also, if they lose and the, the Raiders make it in, they win a game, we get another first-round pick from them, which is pretty sweet. And, <laughs> I don't know, we're just going to be loaded. Like, we're going to have some good players pretty soon, and it'll be pretty sweet. I mean, we got... Edge Green, aka AJ Green, who hasn't been doing well for, for uh, fantasy owners, and then you got Andy Dalton, the redheaded ginger, but it's okay. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, tonight on ESPN, we have Monday Night Football, and it looks like Drew Brees is gonna be taking out Dan Marino's uh, passing record. He's only like what 350 yards away, 305, I think. So, yeah, I think tonight he's gonna he's gonna get it, and that'll be pretty sweet because. It'll be awesome when you watch and he gets it and like they're gonna like honor him on the field and you'll get goosebumps maybe because it'll be awesome and you'll probably never see that again in your life. So I don't know. He's an ex-Charger and that's not that's not good. So and finally, uh, my Super Bowl pick. My Super Bowl pick is gonna be the Cincinnati Bengals. Just kidding. Um, I think for the from the NFC, it'll come down to the Packers and the uh, and the Saints. Yeah, I don't know. It's either the Packers, char not Chargers, Packers, uh, what's it, the 49ers and the Saints, but I don't know. I think the Saints might be able to pull something out, but who knows? I mean, it's kind of dumb that people are getting down on the Chargers just because, or <laughs> the Packers, just because they won, or they lost one game. It's only one game, and it was a trap game, so, I mean, it's not their fault, sort of. I don't know. They were under a lot of pressure, but I still think the Packers are the best team in the NFC. However... I don't know if they'll be able to beat the Saints again, but who knows? As I, um, yeah, yeah, I died from that juggernaut. But yeah, I think I think it'll be the Packers. Yeah, the Packers will come out of the NFC, and I think that they're going to be end up playing the Ravens from the AFC. I do like the Ravens a lot. Well, I don't really like them as a team because they beat my Bengals all the time, but I do like them to come out and beat the Patriots. I don't know, but it'll be fun. All right, and yeah, I think between those, I think the Green Bay's might Green Bay might repeat, but who knows? Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Like the video, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to check out the top five scary sounds. Charger seven zero five. I'm out. Bye.